All this, these items. I got a decent number of items in here. Drop that off. Put the ink ribbons with their with the ink ribbons. So that way, I don't have to worry about those stacking up. And we will grab the jewelry box. Yes. We also want the shotgun shells, and we want the two death masks. Masks. And I don't know if the armor key has any more uses. We're gonna hang on to it. I think it's got one more use for us. Just one. One last remaining purpose. Okay, so let's head this way. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall off. I don't actually know if that doorknob falls off. I don't remember if I've ever gone through the door enough times to where it has fallen off. I'm sure it does. Yep, there we go. That was the last purpose of the armor key. Okay, so we disposed of that. Okay, so we've got a... We've got some uh, puzzles here. Press that one. I remember these crows coming to life in one version of the game. We want to do this one right here. Yep, just like that. And we will do this one right here. And that should be what we needed to do. Lisa protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. Pay attention to the colors. Yes, so we press the switch. That should open up right here. This will get us the third and final death mask. And you guys are probably thinking, third and final? What? There's supposed to be four death masks. You said there was four. Well, there is four. It's right in here. Press the switch. Yes, sir. Flip the box. Plus press the switch. Yes, sir. And there's the la last death mask. Okay. Let's get out of here. We get to go fight Mr. Z Mr. Crimson Head Zombie in the crypt now. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Am I okay? I am fine. My status is currently fine, so we should be all right. No worries in regard to that. Oh. <sighs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. All right, how you play, where you place the masks is determined by the face. So this one is missing eyes. So we're going to put the mask that is missing eyes right here. Oh yay! I'm not looking forward to this. This one's missing eyes, nose, and mouth. So eyes, nose, and mouth right here. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to open this up. <laughs> this one's missing the nose, so as you can imagine, no nose guy. There it goes there. And the last one is here. Oh, come on, really? I thought I was standing in front. There we go. That's it. <laughs> This guy takes four to five shotgun blasts to take down. And he is fast, so you gotta be careful. Yay. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Crap. Get off me! Fucking bastard. Okay, he's dead. It didn't take four to five, it only took three. But it also took one of my charge packs, so... Great. I should be doing okay on health, though, right? Oh, caution, but, you know, that's not too bad. Grab the switch. Now 
we're gonna grab this emblem. Or a stone and metal object, rather. And let's get out of here. We're done down here. We're done in the creepy crypt. Thank God. <laughs> I don't like being in that crypt. Okay, we're gonna go back the way we came in here, which is back through the weird hallway with the stained glass pictures and creepy Mr. Crow. <laughs> or all the creepy crows. I don't like the creepy crows. And they don't like me either. It's quite alright. Oh, shit. So getting used to the fixed camera angles. Dang. It's so easy to just, like, get yourself disor disoriented. Alright, Mr. Zombie, come here. So I can dodge you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, in this hallway, there is going to be a dog. Eventually. Move quickly, and you won't have to worry about the dog. Anymore. I'm going to place this guy here. And that should open up the door for me. Here we go. And this is where we leave the mansion. <sighs> good times. Good times. More shotgun shells. There's a battery charge pack. And there is also a uh, first aid spray. So we're going to grab the first aid spray. And I'm probably going to just go ahead and use it. Because I've got a decent amount of health items stocked up. Oh, crap. Not through the door. Damn it. I'll, I'll just turn around and grab it. It'll be all right. Be all right. We'll figure this out together. Togetherness is what I strive for. I don't even know what I'm saying. Yay for my first aid spray. I don't think there's anything else in this room either. I think that is literally it. Oh, we don't want to go that way. Yep. Okay. Now let's get the hell out of here. Through the door. Off to do some stuff. We need the crank so we can get to the guardhouse. And that is the whole purpose of coming over here, by the way. Just so you guys are aware. Okay, so simple puzzle. Very simple. Bottom right corner. So west is which way we want to stop this thing. There we go. Same deal with the other one. Bottom right corner. I think it'll be north. And no, we don't want to press it again because that'll just make it spin again. Barry? Webster! James! Gun! Ineffective! Instant! Stay away! Forest outside mansion! Stay! Hey! Well, thank you for the heads up, Barry, but it's a little bit too... too little too late at this point. We are already in the forest outside the mansion, and we are going to continue going this way. So we're going to press this as it hits north. There we go. Just like so. And that should unlock the gate for us to continue onward. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's get going. Simple enough puzzle, really. <clears throat> I'm out of coffee. I drank all my coffee. It's kind of a bad day at the moment. So aim your shotgun at these guys, kill the crows, then aim up. Kill that guy. Okay. Oh, crap. There was another one that it didn't get killed. That sucks. Mr. Crow, where are you? Where are you? There we go. Okay. We don't want to have to mess with the crows right now. Although that was more shotgun and uh, shotgun shells than I really wanted to spend on the fucking crows. But it's whatever. Alright. So the reason we got the wind crest was right here. We get to put the wind crest, and then we get three more crests. The sun, star, and moon crest. Fucking crests. Gotta catch them all, right? Gotta catch them all, fucking crests. But it's totally worth it. You guys definitely want to pick up the wind crest. I think we did that earlier. Uh, or what we did earlier, sorry, to get the wind crest with the bees and the lures and the stuff, because our gift for getting the crests, or to, uh, whatever, you know what I'm trying, what I'm trying to say, 
Like, the incentive behind it, it's totally worth it. Okay, seriously, stop. Spin around. Press the button. Yes. Because we get the Magnum. There's not a lot of ammunition for the Magnum, so we're not going to use it very often. But it's definitely useful in certain situations. And one of those situations is going to come up right away. Okay. Oh, yep. We're right here. Use all these crests and place them. Okay, so... Stop. Yes, it's a kind of symbol, Jill. Damn. It's frustrating sometimes. We're trying to remember. Because, you know, logically, you just want to kind of, like, press it. And it should just go ahead and use the items that you have, but it doesn't. So we get a nice little magnum here. It's not as cool as berries, but whatever. It'll be alright. We'll get through this. We'll get through this together, guys. It'll be alright. So now we need to go get the crank. Um, there's a, like, shed coming up that has a map of the courtyard, the crank, and... Oh, uh... That doesn't sound good. And I think one other item, but I can't remember at the moment. It's kind of easy to get lost in here, I think. It, just, it looks like it's easy to get lost, like there's all sorts of different pathways, but I don't remember there being multiple, so... Just kind of follow the way you can go. It's just kind of confusing. Especially with the fixed camera angles, you really don't have a sense of where you are in relationship to anything else. Okay, here's the shed that I was talking about. Lisa will come and visit us and be all friendly and cuddly and all sorts of wonderful nonsense later on. Or not later on, but in a short period of time. Grab the map. Yes, I did get the map of the courtyard, thank you very much. Um, there is a typewriter right there, but no ink ribbon, so... There's also a storage box just around the corner, so if you want to save here, you can. Not a problem. Family picture and some notes. There's a journal left by someone. 19. Daddy attached first. Mom attached second. Inside, red and slimy, white and hard. Not true. Mom where? Don't know dad. Found mom again. When attached, mommy. She moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. 4. Mom where? I miss you. That doesn't sound good. That does not sound good at all. Okay. Getting the Magnum equipped. There's the item box if you want to... Or the storage unit if you guys want to switch anything out. We're going to go grab the crank. Come on, Jill. Drop, hop down. Thank you. And this crank will get us off to the guardhouse. You are definitely going to want to have your Magnum equipped, though. It makes this next session a lot, section a lot easier. See, there's Lisa. Alright, let's go say hi to Lisa. Yeah, she totally knocks you out. Like, not even kidding. Just knocks you the fuck out and then just leaves you. I don't understand that one. Like, I don't understand. Why does she just leave you? It makes no sense. But this is why we had the Magnum equipped. Um, it's almost impossible to kill her. I think it is possible. Uh... But it uses a lot of ammunition. It's not really worth it. And honestly, why would you kill somebody that looks like Quasimodo? It's just not nice. So that's the strategy. Shoot her once and then fucking bail. She hangs out in the guardhouse. Or the shed. She doesn't follow you, so there's really no risk there. You just want to shoot her once so it's a lot easier to get past her. Okay. We're going to go re-equip the shotgun now so I don't waste accidentally waste my magnum. Well, not thinking about it. Eh, fucking fixed camera angles. Confuse me sometimes. God damn it. Hello, Mr. Zombie. He was just kind of chilling there. Not really minding. Just minding his own business. You were minding your own business, so I'm going to mind my own. It's okay. I won't kill you this time. Just don't come back. <laughs> so yeah, the reason we got the crank, though, is we need to lower some water in the other area. Do you remember the direction that was like, I don't want to go that way? That's the way we're going now. Now that we got the crank. It was kind of worthless to go there before. Yeah. Pretty much. Come in and do things. 
just gotta progress, progress forward. This game doesn't always give you an indication of what you need to progress forward, and the limited inventory slots really hurts because then you gotta plan everything out. Like, you can't go ahead and grab pieces to a puzzle early because if you do, you might not have access to a storage unit when you need them, and it's just uh, all this stuff has to be planned out. Which is why I'm doing this particular path. This is the one I know. I'm not saying that there isn't other ways. I'm just. It's the one that I know. So, you guys can take it with a grain of salt. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit. It's broken. Fuck you too, dude. Fuck you too. Hi, Mr. Doggy. We're just gonna leave you to mind your own business, do doggy things. <laughs> We don't want to do doggy things with them, so we're just going to leave them behind. Fuck you, Brad. You left us. Brad left us to die. He was the dude in the helicopter that totally failed. He is... I am not a fan of his. <laughs> That's the nicest way to say it, honestly. I am not a fan. So yeah, with that lowers the water. And we can then forward the game. Let's get going. And we still have the crank with us. Yes, we do. I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> so, yes. We're actually getting pretty close to where I'm going to take a break. There's a good save location in the guardhouse, and then we're going to have to clear that half place out. There's a, a lot of stuff in the guardhouse, so that might take a, a full video or part of a video, a full video and part of another one, depending upon how quickly I get everything done, if I remember everything. I'm trying to remember everything in the guardhouse, and it's not coming to me at the moment. Okay. Mr. Crows will attack. Just move fast. Just move fast, and you won't have to waste any shotgun shells. Just like so. Good times. Good times. I'm gonna grab the red herb sitting right here. And then we're going to get through here. Oh, fucking snakes. I'm fucking tired of these motherfucking snakes in this motherfucking game. They poison you too. They're like the big guy. Who, I can't remember the official name of that snake at the moment. Somebody's going to be nice and tell me in the comments, right? Yeah, those snakes will poison you. And if you got poisoned, blue herbs. Yay. But I'm going to leave them there for now. We'll get them at a... We'll get them later. Right in here is our saved station. There should be a item storage unit thing. Yep, right there. That'll get us nice and saved so we can uh, progress forward. So yep, this is where I'm going to take a break, guys. Yes, I will use the ink ribbon. Thank you. Just going to take a quick break, and I will see you guys in the next video, which may or may not be a continuation of this one. I don't know. It's a logical ending, but I don't know how the, vi how the videos will edit. So, take it easy, and I will see you guys later. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and click that subscribe button in the top right corner right over there. If you're looking for the next part and it's not quite up, be patient. It'll be up by tomorrow. I upload daily. This is Bobby Rocks. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I hope to see you next time.